Croatia, one of the most prolific Balkan teams in the region. Are Croatia a fluke or are they a championship caliber team? We're going to find out. Croatia began their journey immediately after their independence from Yugoslavia with the qualifications for the Euro Cup in 1996. They beat out Italy for first place and qualified. And they managed to get out of their group with second place before getting knocked out in the quarterfinals, losing to Germany 2-1. They didn't need Yugoslavia to be a great team. They already were. World Cup 1998 in France. They qualified and got put into a group with Argentina. Aside from 2018 in Russia, this might have been their best performance ever. They beat Romania 1-0. They got their revenge against Germany beating them 3-0 in the quarters. Then in the semis, they would lose to France 2-1, who ended up winning the World Cup. So that's twice France ruined Croatia's hopes. Then they beat the Netherlands to give them third place in the World Cup. And a great accomplishment for the nation that debuted for their first ever World Cup only a few years after independence. Unfortunately, they did not qualify for the Euros in 2000. Ireland and Yugoslavia just barely edged past them to knock them out. Croatia would qualify for the World Cup in 2002, but only beating Ecuador in the groups, which would not be enough to advance. They'd qualify for the Euro 2004 and World Cup 2006. Both times, they did not advance past the group stages. So after three major tournaments getting knocked out in the group stages, Croatia would make an appearance again in 2008 at the Euros with first place over Germany. It was around this time where my interest in sports sparked. Croatia versus Turkey was a crazy tight game. Croatia would go up 1-0 at extra time at the 118th minute mark and Turkey would tie the game last second of extra time. Turkey would end up winning on penalties 3-1 and knock out Croatia. It was an intense match. 14 year old Irfan was hype. At this time Slavan Bilic was the head coach of Croatia. He got them to the Euros but they failed to qualify for the World Cup in 2010 with Ukraine edging them for the playoff spot. For the next five years, Croatia would see three different coaches, Igor Stimac, Niko Kovac, and Ante Cacic. In those five years, they would qualify for the World Cup in Brazil, where they didn't get past the group stages, and qualify for the Euros in 2016, where they would be knocked out by Portugal in the round of 16 in extra time. Izak was livid. But then Russia 2018 happened. No one would expect Croatia to make this run. With a loss to Turkey, Iceland, and a draw from Finland, Cacic is fired and Zlatko Dalic is appointed as the head coach of the Croatian national team. They managed to get second place for the playoffs and move on to beat Greece for a World Cup spot. I was blessed to attend these World Cup group stages. They beat Nigeria, they managed to beat Argentina and they beat Iceland to sweep the group and move to the round of 16. With luck, defense and great goalkeeping, Croatia were on the move. They managed to get past Denmark in penalties. They passed Russia in penalties beat England in extra time and then came the toughest opponent yet, France, for the World Cup final. They lose 4-2 in the end, but what a historic moment for Croatia, reaching that point and making a whole nation proud. Can Croatia pull another upset and reach the final just like they did in 2018? Or is Serbia the one that's going to have that luck, that defense, that goalkeeping to bring them to the finals? With this tough group, it's going to be hard. Belgium are your favorites in that group. But you also cannot rule out Morocco. Morocco have been a decent side. And especially Canada being the sleeper picks. This group is unpredictable. Croatia qualified in the, for the Euros in 2020. And they lost to Spain in the knockout stages. Although that was in 2021. Croatia are in form and haven't missed a World Cup or tournament since 2010. I know they lost to Austria. But Croatia built themselves back up. Fixed the back line. And they're a strong team again. I can see Croatia edging Belgium for that first place spot. Belgium gets second. And we get a repeat performance like they did in 2018. Whatever happens then, it'll be up to chance. Although they don't have a dominant attack, they have a powerful midfield. With a slight fix in defense, Croatia are a strong team. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. How far do you think Croatia can go? Croatia can meet Serbia in the quarterfinals. We don't know. Anything can happen. It will be epic. But that being said... Thank you guys for watching. This has been your boy Fawn. Like the video, subscribe if you want. I'll see you guys next time. Ciao.